See, our brain, our mind is like a canvas. And when we empty our mind and, and clear our mind, we can start to paint works of art on it. We can start to create our so-called future inside and on the canvas of our mind. I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. How are you feeling right now, beautiful soul? So, the only way for a human being to truly truly become successful, to truly find themselves, to truly unlock the magic within, is to completely and utterly lose their mind. <laughs> it's to take themselves into such an uncomfortable position, situation, space, where everything is completely new, because they've literally stripped themselves down to the bare minimum. And to do that, the ego mind fights like crazy. The conditioning of the body from past experiences from this lifetime and others start to rise to the surface and the addiction that the body has to certain chemical reactions that are induced by certain emotional experiences in the external world. The body goes through pain. The mind goes crazy. Most people in this world are running programs on some, le some level. And for you to get to where you want to go to, which is nowhere at all because you're already there. <laughs> and that's part of the deal. However, for you to get to where you want to go to, to reach the next level, whether it's up there or in here, you need to go through a process. And that process starts with you taking a deep dive into the center of your heart and to observe your inner workings, to observe the feelings and the emotions and the thoughts that your body and mind produces and to start to observe them without analyzing, just to observe them and to become familiar and conscious with, with what is taking place. Your mind starts to think things your body starts to feel things. And most of these things are unconscious. And even if the, the body isn't feeling anything, it will get the mind to start thinking things to trigger some kind of chemical reaction so the body gets its fix. Because we as human beings are addicted to certain traumatic events that have taken place in our reality. And if we're not experiencing them, we're gonna create them over and over again in our minds so we can keep re-experiencing these chemical flows, these chemical reactions, these chemical releases. The body's like a crackhead getting its fix, a heroin addict getting its fix, an alcoholic getting its fix. Other people in our external reality will say things and do things. And we have something inside of our brain called the reticular activating system. And that goes and hunts down certain scenarios and circumstances, positive or negative, to bring them into your reality so you can experience them or re-experience them, to keep getting those chemical fixes, keep getting those chemical releases. The body is like an addict and it starts to control the brain and the mind. I remember a couple of years ago, I was meditating on a, on a cliff top in Madeira and I'm just observing in stillness and my girlfriend pops into my head and I watch my brain play out this whole scenario where she goes to a bar and meets a guy and they go off together and I was just watching it and, and seeing how far the brain and the mind would go to get me, Jerry Sargent, a human being that has experienced a lot of rejection in his past, abandonment, things like this, my greatest triggers. So the body is looking for its fix. So it starts to get the brain to, to go on these little journeys internally. And the thing is the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not. But we can use this to our advantage. We can start to create positive scenarios in our brain. See our brain, our mind is like a canvas. And when we empty our mind, and and clear our mind, we can start to paint works of art on it. We can start to create our so-called future inside and on the canvas of our mind. 
And then we can live out that reality and feel the feelings of what it's like. And then we start to give off magnetic and electrical charges. And we start to magnetize that which we've been thinking about and creating internally into our external field through natural lines of transmission, through people, circumstances and events. And all we've got to do is reach out and take them, reach out and step into. But this process is not easy. Before you can get to that, you've got to go through this whole world of, of adaptation where you start to observe all of the unconscious behaviors and patterns and thoughts and emotions that the body and mind are creating. And as you sit still and don't engage in them, you're going to be very, very uncomfortable. Decluttering the minds, detaching the body, decoding the body energetically from all of these external experiences and all of these internal experiences. Becoming the observer is not an easy process. And this is why most people fail on their journey to success because they cannot accept losing their mind. But losing the mind is a beautiful thing because on the other side of the chaos is order. And the order of the universe is mathematical, geometrical, fluid. It's just patterns and numbers and code. And it makes no sense to our logical mind. Our left brain, our male brain that processes seven bits of data per second. Our right brain, our female brain, which processes billions of bits of data per second, that sees colors and patterns and feels frequency, that experiences love, non-conformity. It understands the order in the chaos. You go to the jungle, you go to the woods and to the forest, the, the plants and the trees are everywhere, and it looks chaotic, but there is order in that. You don't see the, the oak tree fighting with the silver birch. You don't see the, the flowers fighting with each other, scrapping for space. They just grow and weave and flow. And when we move into the space of our hearts and we create space between us and what's happening around us, that space gives us opportunity. And within that space and that opportunity, we can create magic. But you've got to get comfortable within that space. When the mind is trying to trick you and the body is trying to control you, you've got to say, no, I'm in control. Me, the consciousness inside the body, the spirit, the soul, the essence, the frequency, not the label, not the name, not the identity, not the body, not the brain. You've got to exercise willpower, discipline, commitment. You've got to stay calm and you've got to trust the process. When you start to become conscious of your unconscious habits, when you start to become aware of your unconscious habits and you shine lights on them, you get the opportunity to make different choices in the space that you create between you and what's happening internally and externally. And that space is minimal. 0.25 second window between stimulus and response. But that space is colossal. That minute period of two point, that minute period of 0.25 seconds. There's a whole universe in there. Self-control is strength. Right thought is mastery. Calmness is power. Say unto your heart, peace be still. You are amazing, beautiful soul. And the, the commanding master resides inside of you, in your heart. Go in there, connect with him, her, it. The essence, the truth, the wisdom, the knowledge. And start expressing yourself in different ways, in unique ways, by making different choices by exercising your willpower. Wherever you are on this magical planet, go out into the world and love your sisters and your brothers fiercely and ferociously. Hug them tightly and never, ever, ever be the first to let go. That's the golden rule of hugging. Become aware 
of your unconscious habits, thoughts, feelings, emotions. Start to make conscious choices and you will move into new realms of vitality and health. Formidable business opportunities will present themselves and relationships will be fluid and easy. I love you, you're amazing. Remember to check out our website, starmagichealing.com. We got some of the best ascension tools on the planet and you can get access right now to our seven day free meditation challenge. I'll see you soon, beautiful soul. <laughs> one love, one heart, one human family. Peace out. <laughs> How would you like to wake up every single day with joy as your natural default state? Bouncing around this planet, loving every second. It's easy when you follow a certain set of protocols. It's time for you to step into your power. You're a lion, you're a lioness, a god, a goddess. Right now you can access our free seven day meditation challenge. You will activate courage, confidence, connect to source and feel love in your heart always. You will generate a wave of enthusiasm that will flow from your heart always as you merge the divine masculine and the divine feminine frequencies into wholeness, into the zero point. Click the link, access these short, powerful and potent meditations and kickstart a new way of operating in this human reality. You are amazing, beautiful soul. Amazing, extraordinary, phenomenal. And you have so much magic, knowledge and wisdom locked inside of you. And these meditations, this short meditation challenge will bring all of that to the surface so you can activate your superhuman potential. Click the link and I will see you on the inside. I want you to thrive, to shine your light and express your divinity, to speak your truth always, to live your truth, to stand in your power and make up your own rules of this human game. Go out into this world, love your sisters and your brothers fiercely and ferociously. Hug them tightly and never, ever be the first to let go. That's the golden rule of hugging. I will see you on the inside. Click the link now, let's do this. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out, beautiful soul.